The Ramones, Bob, Tuckin' Heads, Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, L-I-E-G-W-B, F-T-R, and the B-Q-E, Bus Stops, Taxi Drivers, Walk, Pubs and High Rises, Thicker Street and Mulberry, and the Staten Island Ferry, Rikers Island, Wall Street, MoMA Lady Liberty, Pop So, Welcome to the Billy Bones Show again. Oh, man. Uh, I just, uh, last week I had Teresa on the show here with me, mm -hmm. and, uh, again. and last week, uh, Mariana, she was out, uh, I think she was away, right? You're away I on... was away, but now I'm back. Yeah, well, she's very back. happy Now she's back. back. Yep. Okay. And it's always a pleasure to have one on each side of me. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to be here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. There you go. And I'm not going to talk about those bicycles I was talking about last <laughs> week. No, I won't do that. But I did. I also mentioned, I think it was last week or a week before, with all these bicycles they got, they go, they're going each way. You know, I stepped out into the street, and the cars are coming this way, and I looked that way, and the Chinese guy came that way, and I mean, actually hit me with one of his bags on a bike. So I pushed him. Uh, that's a good Chinese way to go food and everything. <laughs> and he called me. I'm, I, I don't know whatever he's calling me. And he called me every name in Chinese. And I just walked away. And he was like pissed. But you know what? If I, you, you can't run into people with those bikes. You felt alarmed. No. You had to defend yourself. Y yeah, you're you right. You thought you would get, you know, knocked you're, over, you're right? right? You're right. I'm I, just trying to justify that, it. Right? You're right. Oh, it's the first time you stood up for me. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time, Ben. She's getting to know you better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Meanwhile, tonight, we have a hell of a show. Yes, yes we Now, do. this is not only yes, do. Uh, a girl that wrote such a tremendous book, but she's also a friend, and I've known her for years, and I've known the family for years. Mm -hmm. I think I could say that much. <laughs> <laughs> i got to be careful what I say. Must. You know what I mean? I want to live. Mm -hmm. I meant... Uh, through the I show. Didn't, I didn't take my medication. That's yeah, what I meant. Yeah. And, um, but uh, you know what? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I just want to <laughs> introduce you. Of course. Please give her a nice hand. Rita Giganti. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we've got Mike that uh, brought her down tonight, my boy Mikey. Oh, Rita. Yay. Uh, I give Mikey a nice hand. Of course. You have, a, is there a clip that we could show of the book? Okay. I guess there, there yeah, it is. There it is. The God, there it is. The Godfather's Daughter. There you go. Now, read it now, from what I understand, now that's your father. I recognize your father right away. Yes. And that's you from when, uh, a picture of you when, when you had your communion. Communion. Mm -hmm. uh, First communion. Oh, oh, wow. They did a great, you know. Yeah, it's interesting a juxtaposition yes. of the, the pictures. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, yeah, hey, that's, it again. that's a hell of a book. Now, how long did it take you to write this book? From the beginning, probably two years. About wow. two years. About two years, but I had started writing about 15 years prior. Now, you used to live in Manhattan, then, right? At one point. But I, I lived in New Jersey, but we would we would go and visit my dad in Manhattan. Yeah, okay. Because okay. you know, I was born on Bleecker Street, right around the corner from uh, your father's uh, cafe. Yes. Can mm -hmm. we call it cafe? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what compelled you to write this book? Well, a couple of things. Um, I had gone through a lot of um, stuff when I was a kid. I had a lot of anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. um, uh, panic attacks, okay. obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, I had been through so much and I just wanted to be able to help other people. Mm. So by telling my story and showing how far I came in life, I was hoping I could um, bring that to the, you know, to the readers and have them um, benefit from it. And it was, it was probably also a healing process for you. Oh my God! It was as well. the two years. Every time you, were, every time I was writing a passage, yeah. uh, it was like um, having to release something all over again. Amazing. Uh, so I would, I would sit maybe an hour and do a, you know, a passage of it, and then I'd have to, 
um, kind of release for like three days yeah. right. before I could sit and Take write again. Take a little again. time for yourself, right. love right. yourself again a little bit. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So it, it was a big process, but it was worth every step of the way. Oh, I bet. Um, since it's been out uh, in last September, okay. I've had so, it's so many. a year that the book's yeah, out. Yeah, it's right? almost a year, and the um, paperback is coming out in August. Oh, Fantastic. wonderful. So excited about that. Unbelievable. Yeah, um, but since then I've been, uh, you know, so much response, so much love from people. Mm -hmm all around the world, like That's Facebook amazing. messages mm -hmm. saying how much um, the story affected them, how mm -hmm. much it helped them, um, because they, they can identify with the anxiety and the right. depression and all right. that. So it was... Um, it, it Did you was, say earlier, panic attacks? Panic attacks it started at the age of seven. Oh wow. my gosh. Anxiety and depression at the age of five. Yeah. And, and without probably ever being able to label them as that. Being no such a idea. young age, you just you know, know. You no just know what you're you feeling. Yeah. You don't know what to call it or, or how to treat it. Absolutely. Crying a lot and, and feeling anxious and feeling, um, you know, um, sad. And I'm sure just feeling sad. uncomfortable with yourself. Yes. In a way. Yeah, like, well, this is all over with now. No more panic. No, no, not unless I have to get on a plane. Then, it's yeah. <laughs> then I have an issue. But that's, a lot of that's people normal. deal with that. So yes, panic that's attacks normal. are all in the book. Are you still getting any already. of these attacks? Though? What's that? Are no, you still get any more of these no. attacks? No. no, they're all over with. No more. Yeah. When I started to meditate, um, meditate. About, meditate. Uh, I just yeah. want to make sure you say medication. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 not medication. No, no, meditate. I don't have to. When I started to meditate, it helped me a lot to. Grab hold of the anxiety, release it, and be able mm -hmm. to put myself in a calm state. Wow, so, that's fantastic. Yeah. What What did uh, you think your biggest challenge was in writing the book? Did you find any memories that you had maybe forgotten about that as you were writing other passages? I did. Um, there were There were some memories back? that came up for me that um, I didn't expect, mm -hmm. and it was um, having to um, kind of go through the whole process all over again. You know, so if there yeah. was a memory that came up at the age of five. Um, it was that five-year-old going through the process so all over again. So it was a journey again. for you. Oh, a journey big journey. going back in time. Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, but actually being able to view it very differently through the eyes of an adult now. Right. So it, it's, it's almost uh, surreal to have to go back and see myself as that five-year-old mm -hmm. having an anxiety attack when I don't have anxiety attacks right. really anymore. Um, having to put myself there and... Um, I, see it in a way that um, so that I can write it chronologically and and emotionally mm -hmm. in that way so at the beginning it was a little tough but the co-writer Natasha was really helpful in getting me to pull the emotions out mm -hmm. and um, and being able to write it in a way that actually helped me release everything how did so. that come to be with the collaboration with Natasha Where yeah only through the grace of God because that's how it you know there are no coincidences so mm -hmm. We have a mutual friend that we didn't know we had, huh. and I was talking to her one day, and um, I, I said to her, you know, I'm looking for a writer. I said, I, I've written a lot already. I said, but I really need somebody to put it together because I'm not really sure how to do that. Absolutely. Okay. And she says, I have the perfect person for you, and she brought her. Oh, my And then gosh. just recently. It was just meant to be. Yeah, and then just recently, she ended up bringing me um, the PR person that's working with me now. Fabulous. Wow. Um, you know, she knocked on my door and says, I, I have to tell you something, and it was like one of those... Again, coincidences that aren't right. really coincidences. Now this book is all over now, right? All over. You can all get it over. anywhere. I have, I have another question. Mike, can you speak English? Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm on the sidelines, just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's welcome. doing a great welcome. job. Welcome. welcome. Hi again, You told Mikey. me to be quiet earlier, and you're not even talking. <laughs> what the, what's Please. the story over here? Say something. Well, Hello. Well, Rita right now is, uh, besides the book, we're doing... Uh, one Wait, woman she's show. also doing a one woman show also. Oh, that's right. Right. Oh, wow. Right. Well, Good for can you. I, can I come and watch that? Of course. Yeah. Uh, how soon is that going to be? Probably You're within. It, right? Yeah, it's about probably a year away. Yeah. Oh, about right. a year away. Yeah. yeah. They're, oh, they're, they're workshopping, like that. workshopping yeah. the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's going to be oh, like a docu play. You're going to have to remind oh, wow. me a year away. Absolutely. We'll send you an email. Remind you're, you're on the invite list. Don't worry. Yeah. Are you on that? I'll make list? sure. I'm, I'm at the top. I'm, I'm in the VIP uh, invite list. Are you a VIP? She may even be in it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, that's that's definitely something you know huge to take on. Are you? Um, do you have any acting experience, or are you just absolutely yourself none? In? That's fair. Wow. That's absolutely oh, none. Very but cool. um, I've been told by many people that um, I should do it, and I ha you know I have the. Um, Pray, uh, the 
uh, presence on stage and mm -hmm. so have you ever done this story. before like on a stage with, with people no I've like spoke on stage like I, I've you know I've, I've done speaking engagements um, and you know um, you think you could go you, through this I, sitting on stage and doing a one woman show yeah I, and I like to engage the audience that's mm -hmm. that's how I, yeah. I like to do it so I probably will do that while so I'm, you're not too shy or anything like that no not, not, no not really. <laughs> no. But you, you also have a holistic healing seminars, don't you? Or yes. are more on healing, self-healing, preservation? Once I started um, meditation and then I went to, actually I went to massage school. Okay. Oh. Um, realized that I had the ability to put my hands on somebody and feel their energy and feel wow. any blockages that were in their body. Put your hand on my shoulder. <laughs> tell, tell me what you feel. I said on my shoulder. <laughs> Later. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and so once I realized that, I pursued it. Great. And then um, I just kept taking it to the next level. Um, so I then started to open up the rest of the gifts that I had, which was um, being clairvoyant. I could hear. Clair, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I could see. Clairaudient, I could hear. Uh, but I'd have to say my strongest would probably be um, clairsentient, which is, means I could feel what's happening. Right. And then I help them release the blockages out of their body. And when did you realize that you that you had these talents? Before or after you started writing the book? Before. Wow. Before. So it, do you think it that just, it brought know what happened it after after writing it and releasing a lot of the old stuff that was, um, we'll say, inside of me, my gifts got stronger. Yes. It like that, made that more rooms for. So you were more open. Much yeah. more open. Um, and and then the psychic. Then I realized, not even, maybe seven years ago. I realized I had uh, mediumistic abilities, which means I could, oh, you know, wow. speak to somebody on the other side. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So well, was... speaking of which, I, I read something that you had done an interview with Daily News, and basically you told them you're much closer to your father now than ever before. Yeah, so we have, it's we have a that. huge relationship now compared wow. to what it was when he was alive. But it's interesting because, um, you know, when we're in this form, when we're mm -hmm. in, you know, human, we have our egos that we have to deal with, mm -hmm. right? And so when we go to spirit, there we shed the ego. We don't have to deal with it anymore. And so I'm just dealing soul to soul now with my dad. Wow. And um, it created such a beautiful relationship to be able to speak to him on that level. Do you feel oh, you dead around you all the time? I, I can feel, yeah. I, but, but I have to learn to not feel it all the time because it can be consuming mm -hmm. if you, you're constantly on. Yeah. You know? right, of so course. I, I try and um, you know, have my downtime. I feel we my mother around me all the time because she used to beat the shit out of me. Well, <laughs> I, feel yeah. more, I feel more your grandmother with you than your mom. Uh, my grandmother was all right. My grandmother and my grandfather were all right. Yeah. You know? They used to say, leave them alone. Then they used to turn their back and then she used to beat the hell out of me. <laughs> that's well. Oh, but that's a whole nother. I'm sure you did nothing to deserve it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was sticking up for you again, right? Yeah, you're yeah. such a good I, girl. You are. <laughs> You I are. also hear congratulations are in order. You just got married, didn't yes, you, I to did. your longtime oh. girlfriend? Yes. 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 To Bobby. Thank you. Yeah. We actually share almost the same anniversary. Really? My anniversary is May 27th. Oh. And I just celebrated two years of marriage. So oh, congratulations, yeah. congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. <laughs> congratulations. That's wonderful. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pat, can you tell us a little bit about the ceremony? Oh, my God. It was beautiful. Um, we keep talking about it, and we keep saying, oh, we wish we, it was Because it was here just again. a month yeah. ago, no? Not even. <laughs> Not even. Yeah, it was oh, the 26th wow. of May, and uh, it, was, it was absolutely magnificent. Wow. Um, she was the most beautiful bride oh. in the world. Oh. That's and, what I was trying to get a hold of you, and you didn't answer the phone. Well, <laughs> well I mean, she, you know, she was I had, a little busy. She that. was busy. <laughs> she didn't call me up and say she's getting married or going uh, away. I'm sorry. I didn't know nothing. I'm I just sorry. kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. I said, Shorty, drop me like a hot potato. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Where did you get married? We got married in New York because Great. that's where. But then we had the. Um, uh, we had all family and friends at, a, at this restaurant, this beautiful restaurant in uh, New Jersey. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Originally, you didn't want a big ceremony, but you did it because of your mother, correct? I, I wanted my mom to experience that with, you know, being her last child. And, right. You know, so. The youngest of five. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. The traditional oh, family wedding. Wonderful. Traditional. Oh, yeah. yeah. We are party? traditional in a lot of ways. It, it, was, it was about 115 people. Oh, wow. That's, that's nice. yeah. pretty. Yeah. <coughs> it was, that's what it was I had nice. on my divorce party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the last one? How come I wasn't invited? Which, <laughs> which one? Right. Which I was going to say which one? one, but I bit my tongue. 
The first two. <laughs> the first two? Oh. Yeah. Well, no, actually, the first one was very little. The second one's a very big one. Yeah. Oh, Can man. you invite me to the next one? Yes. I missed the two. Yeah. Was six one <laughs> with no next... shoes on. Six one with she no shoes on. She was 18 years old, and I was 33 when oh. I married her. Wow. And everybody, everybody gave me the finger. The no-no? No-no. The Teresa. Shut up. Shut up. And, Shut up. Shut up. In the cradle. and I wasn't yeah. thinking with this one. <laughs> no. Yeah. And it, yeah. oh, man, it, it didn't work. No. Well. It didn't work at all. And was she a Scorpio? She was a Scorpio. Oh, I right. Have known. All right. Yeah. I should have known. If you could but describe anyway. yourself, Rita, in one word, what would it be? Hmm. Probably magnetic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mine for you is brave. Because brave. It, having to, you know, not only get through you know, your hardships in your childhood, but then to revisit them and writing them, and you know, that's, that's a well, magnificent it, feat. I, I tell people all the time, this isn't, this isn't my book anymore. Oh, this, is, right. this is everybody else's book now. Wow, you know, yeah. Whoever, whoever reads it and experiences it and can get something from it, it's their book too. It was just my, I was just a vehicle, right. you know, to kind of bring the story out, and um, I was fortunate enough to um, be able to do that and um, actually be able to show even my dad in a different light than everybody saw him um, in a newspaper or on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, this was my father, and yeah. I wanted people to know him as a dad. What would you want us to know about your father? In yeah, that he, sense he was, he, he was, he could be very funny, mm -hmm. um, and, and he could, he loved uh, Elvis, so every so often I was able to get him up and dance. Oh, uh, that's great. And every so often, it was, it was far and few in between, but, and dancing for him was two left feet, but my mother, oh. My mother made sure she made him look good, so because uh, she was a wonderful dancer. Oh, that's great. Um, and 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 so he would, he would so lovingly rub my back when I was sick. I remember that the most oh. when I was a kid, and I'd have my anxiety attacks, and he would rub my back until I fell asleep. Um, and that was my dad. You know, mm -hmm. that was the part of him that nobody knew. No. He also had OCD like me, <laughs> or I had it like him, so yeah. that I could relate to. Uh, and we both shared football because we both loved. Oh. The game of football. Okay. Um, so it, it was. It was a. It was a wonderful journey. I, I call it the journey. The book. Yeah. You know? It was my journey with him. As long um, as I knew him, he never. He never actually had a conversation with me because my grandfather used to hang out in that cafe. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say his name because he's gone now. Uh, that was Paulie Brown. He used to go and play pinochle sometimes. <laughs> right. And uh, your father always used to say, "Hello, oh, kid. How are you?" That was it. Hello, oh, kid. Yeah. You know. Yeah. He was very. He was a generous man. You know, yeah. he he loved the elderly. Um, he would help anyone if they needed help. So um, these were sides to him that not everybody knew. Right. You know, so I, I wanted to uh, bring that bring that to the light. And that's really so what it was. So you feel so much better after writing this book. He's like got it all out of you. Exactly. Do you have any inclination of writing a second book? I do. I mm. actually started. Oh wow! Um, this book is is all about healing. Okay. Um, and it's all about um, my work and how I can help others um, empower themselves to right. heal themselves. Um, because, you know, I, not that I'm trying to put myself out of a job, because I'm not. <laughs> um, but, but my job is to help empower people to heal themselves. And, and that's what I love to do. I mean, that's, that's my passion. I'm passionate about that. And I'm sure there's so many people out there that don't know where to reach for the help. And exactly. they're, or they're afraid. And but sometimes, you know, and, and believe me, medicine is, you, we need medicine. Of course. Uh, but there are other things out there to complement that. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And I think people are looking for other things now to... Other outlets. Yeah, yeah. to do that. So That's absolutely. amazing. Um, I feel very blessed. I feel very blessed to be able to, um, you know, bring this to, to the world. Of course. You know? I was so happy tonight to see you. Uh, I really was. Thank you. I was you. so happy tonight to see you. Thank you. And I knew right away, as soon as I looked at you, we're not going to talk. Well, we're not going to say yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Right. right away, I just, I pinned you. Uh, okay, but it, it was so nice, you know. And uh, I'm just so happy for you that you you feel so much better now. Yeah. You know? and, much uh, clearer. You look great. Thank Congratulations you. with everything that you're doing. I can't wait to see that one woman show. I don't. That's so be, uh, exciting. About a year so away. Exciting. And you're away. the producer. About a year out. Yeah. Yeah. And Rita, okay. what is the best way to get you know your book, your your healing um, the, about information, any information, information about you? Yep. You can go on Facebook. Um, on Facebook and uh, website is RitaGiganti.com. Okay. And uh, those are the best ways to reach me. Great. 
because um, on there they'll find my email and, and contact information. Absolutely. Uh, contact information. I'm not going to give nobody your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm faster no, at getting back to that. people via email than so, I am on the phone, right. believe it or not. I'm sure. Um, and, I, and it's, I would love to sit and talk to everyone. It's just so, it's hard. You know, I do want to, you have to put your two hands on my shoulder. Absolutely. You, know, you need a healing. Just want to tell me. <laughs> I just want you to tell me what you feel. What, what you feel. You know, like sure. any tension or anything like that. Sure. Is that what it is? Tension or something? Well, it could be. It could be emotional. It could be physical. It could mm -hmm. be mental. It could be spiritual. Yeah, don't touch my head. <laughs> you better not have it done. Yeah. yeah. Hold my off. shoulders. You know, sometimes I touch people. They go down. Uh, you don't want to. You don't I'm want that to happen. I'm looking to stand up. <laughs> 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 Amazing, you know. I love it. I love this. You know, I love doing this show. I really do. Yeah. I've been doing it for the longest time. We have a million viewers. Wow! And uh, you know, and so I do this. I do movies. Right. And I was told, you know, like in the very beginning when I started doing movies, like mm -hmm. in front of a camera. You know what? When I'm in front of a camera, I. You gotta learn to make love to that camera. Mm. That's what I do. I make love to the camera, mm -hmm. and uh, that's exactly what you're doing. Oh. You, you made love with this book. You make love. You can make more love with your one one woman. Just gonna say one man show. <laughs> one woman show. One woman, one woman show. <laughs> Whatever I get into it, you know. <laughs> and uh, wow, well, I just really. Can't. Mikey, you gotta keep me in. Uh, I'll keep you in a loop. Yeah, of keep course. me. As we get closer, yes, we'll just please. update. We'll uh, about six months down. Now, is there any other way that I could be of any help? We will call you. <laughs> well, hey, <laughs> <laughs> he said he'll call you. Oh, all right. Well, you always call me anyway. <laughs> How can we call you if we can't hear you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. If there's any way that I could be of any help, you call me. Thank Great. you. Thanks. Thanks for okay. having us. Right. And uh, wow, I'm so happy that you came here today. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, I was this big. See, oh, what? oh my god. I was this big? I know. Well, actually, I was in that dress. It was, just, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was right was this photo here. Yeah. It was then he took little this photo. The, the communion, <laughs> and then you did that to me. I did I'm that. Only joking, I'm only joking. No. No. Uh, but that, that's, exactly, um, that's exactly how I remember him. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm. You Handsome. Know? And. Uh, God bless, yeah, so. man. You know, I. They were, even though they wouldn't let me into into the cafe, you know, I used to have to call them from the outside when the doors open. I say, Grandpa. <laughs> no. <and they laughs> you know, and uh, oh, that was pretty nice. And I used to hang out in the close Christina the Marcini Club. Mm -hmm. You know, the children's club over there. Yeah. And, uh, that was wow. around for a long time. I'm sorry? That was around for a long time. I remember yeah. going in there myself. Yeah. The Marcini Club. Yeah. Then he tore it all down at the building. No, there. they put a building up. Yeah. yeah it's, and I was born yeah. right around the corner, top of John's Pizzeria. So much changed. Uh, the whole neighborhood changed. So and much I think changed. somebody's going to give me the finger. That's right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mean that finger. Somebody you know, waved so off. They, 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 they give me the finger like to tell me how much. Stop it. I didn't say a they word. Give me the, they give me fingers to let me know. How the much time more is time right. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. Got it. The one thing that still stands though is the pizza box. Pizza, Say what? Pizza box. What about the pizza box? The, the, but you get good pizza in, in the village. That's the one one thing that's still there that I remember that has not left yet. Oh, you're talking about John's? No, the pizza box. Where was the pizza, pizza box? box. Where's the it's pizza? On Blaker Street. The pizza box on Bleaker. Now where? Where on Bleaker? <sighs> how, uh, there's nothing left there, so yeah. I don't even know how to tell you where it is, but it's right. Bleaker and where? Bleaker and on the, between Sullivan and McDougal. Between uh, Sullivan and McDougal. and McDougal. It's called the Pizza Box. You'll have to the go pizza try box. it. The Pizza Box. That's still there. Yeah. It has to be different owners. They're probably Chinese that own it today. Oh, no. no. Oh my gosh. Still what excellent. The, wait, what's the problem with the Chinese today? <laughs> You're going to problem with the Chinese. What's the problem? I'm just asking you what the it's problem that, that, is. They're, they're, well, they, after they one ran him over, Italy. Italy. he's yeah. done with them. <clears> they took over Little Italy. <clears throat> and um, it's on, it before it used to be 10 blocks long and block wide on each side <laughs> all the way through. There's only three blocks left. And once they start. Learn how to make lasagna. I'm out of there. <laughs> you know? Pizza's still good there. You never know. Hey, Maybe it'll be the pizza's, the pizza's still, still good. good. It's and still good there. It's still the pizza good. box. The pizza box. Yeah. I'm sure I know. Between you probably know it. McDougal, if you see it. Between McDougal and Sullivan. Oh wait, wait. Yes, yes, it's yes, coming yes, back. yes. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's all. Oh, the pizzeria. I think you go upstairs or downstairs or something. It's 
It's got an outside. If you go, if you go in the back, you can sit outside. Am I right? Yeah, right. You should go there for wait, pizza wait, wait, now. Yeah. I mean, now that you plugged it ten times, I'm yeah. sure you'll get a free pie. Yeah. Now we're all hungry. I know we should all get some pizza. I get free pizza at a place I go. You might have to do a book signing there now. Yeah, that's right. Read us next event at the pizza Um Anyway, you know, we don't have much more time left, so I want to thank... Rita Gigante, I want to thank Mike. Thank I you. can't wait for the one woman show. I'm going to continue so to finish exciting. the book. Yes. I only read the Godfather's Daughter. Pick up yes. this book. Uh, Teresa, um, Mariano. Thank you, Vince. And my you, wonderful Vinny. audience. And I still think we have a moment left. And I think I want to give that moment to Mike because he hasn't said nothing yet. <laughs> Mike, Whoa. lead us out. Sure. The. The one woman show is going to be done uh, at the Theater 80, and they kind of like have a mob museum. So oh, the, oh, wow. the, it just ties into exactly mm -hmm. what is doing. It's a small. It's yes. a small. Decorate the, the uh, well, yeah, we can decorate the stage. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a. I ain't uh, wearing this when I come in. Wow. Wow. That much. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit different. It's going to be a docu play. So there'll be screens behind Rita as she's oh. going through her life. And when she hits on certain points, the screens will light up. With mm -hmm. what Rita's talking about, so it's going to be a little incredible. bit different than her just standing Any up there. Any kind of a line. background, like a city. So background we're going to shoot mm -hmm. that uh, oh. probably the end of uh, this year, sometime Great. down on okay. location, to get the screens. You know, as soon as we get the script, that's going to be right. so nice and do it. That is so exciting. Well, best of luck so with the entire project. Is it going to be a cafe? Yeah. Through the entire Thank cafe you. behind you, maybe. <laughs> 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 Playing oh. pinochle? They're at the very yes. They're at the very <laughs> beginning of production. So we wish you well with that yeah. project. Thank you. Really, thank yeah. you so much for being here, and thank, thank you for you. helping thank so for many people us. with yeah. with the, their own problems. Appreciate it's really, really thank exciting. You. Thank, you. Wow. thank you. I can't wait to see that. And um, once again, I don't know how much more time we got because before you gave me the finger, and that was like four or five minutes ago, and that time is already. <laughs> oh. So I haven't got the big yet. But anyway. Um, no. Yeah. Did, no, I thought I heard music. <laughs> you know, I you know it's like his Oscars. I, I went deaf and I got hearing aids, but I don't wear them. Because they're painted. Well, you maybe. Know, you can oh. tell. <laughs> I, I, I don't wear them. I don't wear them because they bother me. You know? right. And it's people okay. they look in the air and they say, What's that? What do you think it is? No one says I mean, what's they, that they when you wear hearing chili aids. Chili peppers. Now, chili what peppers. Could be? An olive maybe you could get one shape, shaped like a chili pepper or an olive pit, and then when people say that, you can say. I like to put a chili pepper uh, in there. Right, oh my and gosh. I think that's all the yeah. time we have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, you can so get the Godfather's again, daughter. The Godfather's daughter. <laughs> there we go. And readagiganti.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.